The Earth has a magnetic field. It's like this bar magnet, you know? North is at the top, south is at the bottom. The problem with the sun is it has a very chaotic magnetic field. When it throws off one of these mass events, its orientation matters too. So you have this thing flying through space. But of course, if the orientation is like this, what happens? It just passes straight by. The problem comes when you turn the magnetic field round. As it comes towards us, chaos. Suddenly, all those electrically charged particles from the sun generates a huge electrical surge down the Earth's magnetic field, which has to go somewhere. And of course, we've covered the Earth with all kinds of wires, our electrical grids. And so that's where this massive electrical surge is going to go, right into our power grids. When the currents flow in the power grid, you could categorize the threat in two different ways. One, it can trip out critical systems, causing significant problems on the electric power grid. The second piece is transformer damage. These transformers are very big, and should they be damaged, that presents a whole new challenge because these big transformers are not sitting on a shelf out back to be replaced. They're often tailor-made, it takes time to make them, and it could result in a long-term outage measured in weeks and months. When the Carrington event happened, and those transmission lines for the telegraph got hit by those electrical currents and burst into flames, that's nothing compared to what would happen in a big solar event to the power grids. Should a Carrington-level event happen again, the current estimates are that it would cost the US alone about $3 trillion, and that the Eastern Seaboard could be without power for a year. GPS navigation can get knocked out. Spacecraft can get radiation doses. Polar airline flights can be disrupted. We're looking at communication systems failing, financial systems coming to a screeching halt. The impacts would be major for the economy.